friendship could be. My little pony. Until you all shared its magic with me. Big adventure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. So this episode starts off with an interesting little information dump. Every year, ponies have to clean up winter before spring can happen. Other places use unicorn magic, but Ponyville was founded by Earth Ponies, so they keep the tradition going of using no magic. And since Twilight is new to Ponyville, this will be her first winter wrap-up, and she's really excited about it. Right and early. Maybe a little too early. A little too excited. Same color as my blankie, which I think I hear calling my name. Spike! Spike! Come to bed! Spike is so cute in this one. Hi, Berry Punch, Carrot Top, and Bon Bon. Okay, so I don't know the other two. Sue me. Somehow Twilight got there late, so she wasn't assigned to a team. What exactly does every pony do? Oh yeah, and remember how... I think it was last episode where I mentioned that there was hardly any music so far. Surprisingly. Suddenly we get one of the best songs of the whole series so far. Or one of the fan favorites, at least. Winter wrap up, winter wrap up. Let's finish our holiday cheer. Winter wrap up, winter wrap up. Cause tomorrow spring is here. It's kind of a mix of what winter wrap up is about and how Twilight doesn't quite know where she fits in. The Pegasi bring home the birds from the south and clear the clouds. Earth ponies wake up the hibernating animals and give them food. They also clear the snow from the ground and plant seeds. Winter wrap up. Yeah, good luck getting that out of your head. Every pony belongs to a team. What should I do? Where should I go? So Twilight asks Rainbow Dash if she can help her, but she has no wings yet. Right, no wings. And unicorn magic isn't allowed, so duh. I'm determined to do my part. Somehow. Meanwhile, Rarity is making birds' nests. Why, yes! When the weather team guides the birds back north for the spring, they'll need a place to live and lay their eggs. Wow, it must be great being a wild animal in Equestria. The ponies just take care of everything. Now this is something that Twilight can theoretically do. Straw and hay over there, and a little bit of branch. Wow, Twilight is like Pony Monk. There! It looks just like... yours. Ooh, yeah. Some people just aren't the artsy craftsy types. And some ponies, apparently. That nest needs to be condemned. Oh, Spike. Maybe the birds can use it as a... an outhouse. Spike gets all the good lines in this episode. Let me lend you a hoof. Let's just untie this ribbon, and if we take out these sticks Aww. here, we shake this. So Twilight moves on and finds Pinkie Pie ice skating. I've been doing this since I was an itty bitty little little Twinkie Pinkie. Actually, she's scoring the ice on the lake, so it'll be easier to break up later. Twilight tries to join her, and it goes about as well as expected. Maybe on second thought. Now get out there! <gasps> Look at Spike, he totally knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> you are a natural, Twilight! <laughs> a natural disaster! <laughs> okay, while Spike has the best lines, he's also an ass. So Twilight goes to help Fluttershy. Her job is to wake up the hibernating animals. Aww, how cute! Uh, what's hibernation? I get that hibernation needed to be explained to the kids watching, but I find Spike's asking about it adorable for some reason. I definitely like the idea of hibernation, except for the eat less food part. Fluttershy may like this job, but there are a ton of animals that need to be woken up. Well, I'll help Fluttershy. I was actually going to make a joke about the animals shown hibernating, but I looked it up just to be sure, and all these animals actually do hibernate. Well, technically snakes don't, but they get a lot less active, so close enough, same idea. And some bees actually do hibernate. Anyway, off to try to help the next pony, which is Applejack. She's having everyone move the snow off the ground with plows. I'd like to help. <laughs> well, I, I don't know, Twilight. Just give me a chance. Twilight tries to help again, but she doesn't have the strength of an earth pony, so she cheats and uses magic. Applejack knows right away that something is up. Uh-oh. Slow down! Slow down! And of course it gets out of hand and becomes a total disaster. What's going on? What'd you do? You used magic, didn't you? 
And now they have way more to clean up than they did before. Oh. Aww. Y'all on the weather team need to melt the rest of this snow here on the ground and the trees pronto. So some arguments break out because some jobs need to be done before others and some groups are behind. The nest designer is horrendously behind. We need several hundred and she's only made one. <laughs> it turns out that this happens every year. If only we could be more organized. I think that's your cue, Twilight. What you need is organization. And I'm just the pony for the job. So Twilight is put in charge of organizing all the teams, making sure everything gets done in the correct order, etc. Seriously, I love the music in this episode. I can't believe it. And Winter gets wrapped up right on schedule for like the first time ever. So Twilight gets her very own vest and title. You go, girl. Gosh, I don't even know what to say. Thank you, every pony. Spike's sure gonna be in for a hog-sized surprise when that last piece of ice melts. All things considered, he kind of has that coming. And so ends, I won't sing it again, winter wrap-up. So the official lesson for this episode is that everyone needs to learn to work together if you want to get anything done. Which is a good one. Speaking personally though, I can kind of relate to Twilight and how she wants to help but doesn't know what to do and isn't even sure how to go about finding out and the awkwardness that goes with that, and how you don't want to get in the way, but you don't want anyone thinking you're just being lazy or something. Yeah. Anyway, it captures that feeling really well. There's also a bit of world building, which is always nice. I kind of like the idea that the ponies have to clean up winter to get ready for spring. That's kind of creative. And wouldn't it be nice if you could just decide that it's time for spring and, and just have it happen? Other than that, it's a pretty straightforward episode with awesome music in it. Speaking of which, at the time I'm recording this, the song has been referenced twice in later episodes. Next up is, uh, Call of the Cutie. See you then. Oh,